Hello there everyone and welcome back to the United UMC mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Thorges Kaiserreich und Wilhelm II von Hohenzollern Lopper. But the Empire of Japan rejected our Qingdao demand. The Empire of Japan has utterly rejected our demands for the return of Qingdao. We have no choice but to seek its return at a later date. We well, can be patient, but we're doing Prussian mili uh, military discipline. Prussia, all the German state, were father of Teutonic Knights. The Prussian soldiers were known for their discipline and combat skill. Uh, the legacy must be fulfilled. Go through, you can join the allies just like America did. Um, I do want to get down here. There's a couple of comments we got to get through as well. But you get Slavia, huh? Imperial Tech, uh, sharing collaboration. The smoothen, or sm smoothen. <clears throat> Our research efforts, as much as possible, will establish research tech sharing programs. Why the heck is everyone joining the allies? And who can't give you our stuff? What the heck? Oh, Mexican joint. Oh, hello, that's why. Oh. Oh, Mexico, please. Mexico, please. I'll do that anyways. Um, we are going to go to war with the Yugoslavians very soon. Uh, well, hopefully once we do the focus. Of course. Uh. Uh, that's not good too for us. Why is everyone joining the Allies right now? Oh my goodness. But happy 1941, everybody. Yeah, we definitely need to go to war. We go to war with the French immediately. But then we need to go to war with them so we can sleep in as well. Hmm. I'm taking a while, but we need more map as well. Of course, we're only in limited conscription. We will go to extensive conscription too. But let's get this one done first, and then you know what? We can just go to war properly. Just because we can. And we'll do that one next. After this one Treaty of War Claims and Friendship. Kriegsvertrag on Sprusha und Freundschaft. The treaty between nations of the Central Powers ensures that every nation is ob obligated to support its ally, threat, or attack. They also discuss possible claims on foreign territory should war break out. Alright, so if Belarus is fighting, is in the Allies, and they're fighting these guys. That just means maybe you will have an aggression pact with the Polish. And maybe the Polish could help us out as well. You know, you never know. Um, so we'll see what happens with these guys. We'll do the best we can, of course. Hans Guderian is going to hopefully do a tremendous job for us. I'll also talk about a couple comments. Get them on the line first. Is anyone training? They really shouldn't be right now. Um, so, yeah. And we can't touch them anyway, so. It's a very, very good thing. Lucky is in there, too. But well, we're definitely, 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 definitely going to need quite a few. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, is it turning into a giant mess? Yeah. Let's, uh, we have to be war with France next, anyways. We can do a fate of Yugoslavia, but we might want to wait. Sleep for once more. Um, the Maginot laws must be circumvented. We'll once again pass through Belgium and Luxembourg in a so swift stroke for victory. Let's wait till this one is done first, maybe. Yeah, formalize a treaty, Empire. Well, at least America will fight someone else now. Um, we do go to war with them right now. We can hold the line. These guys will be able to hold the line as well because it's... They didn't capture us. Uh, allies, 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 Hispanic alliance, not good. Central powers, not good. Allies, Hispanic alliance. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, yeah. Co prosperity here. Nothing says Hispanic alliance like a bunch of Polish people. But, you know, whatever. Good luck with that, uh... Uh, Uruguay. Some comments, though, such as whoever made the mod, the United UMC mod, here, United UMC, of course, didn't know that Victoria Luis was married before the game even started. Go figure. So, that was a fall of Hong Kong. We can try to go to war, I guess. <clears throat> There's no point for us to even try to attack because it's level 10 forts, so we'll go to war for now. See what happens. Um, we're still at peace with the Soviets, which is good. Do that too. We call it in the UK, that's fine as well. I do all that stuff too. There you go. Oh, ah, China's in there too. Well, at least they won't struggle too much. Oh. Off London. As much as I want to do that, we're going to get complicated pretty hard, so we're going to wait for that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's Poland. Ooh, wow, 14 subs. Hello. Hello. Get those task force in there. Come on, battleships, come on. Well, I'm glad we captured the, the navy there. Well, not really captured, but you know, sunk a bunch of ships and such. Beautiful. Sink every single task force I got. That's why we left a lot of stuff here, too. Uh-oh. We lost four subs. That's not good. Uh, so it says there's a Yugoslavian focus you can take. Someone else says, I thought the United UMC blocked the monarchist path. And they did. But, at the same time, you just have to use Khan's command saying, I just want to play it anyways. And then it's like, boom, okay then. That's literally all I have to do. 
because uh, I know I've wanted to play this path for a while, and I know a lot of people have actually wanted me to play this path, the Monarchus path as well, so that's why I decided to go with it. All right. Not bad, not bad. Lost well, planner two, so be it. No repairs for now, which is fine. Where are you guys at? Nice. Nah, uh, that's not nice, actually. We lost the sub. That's an early hole sub, what do you expect, but still. Alright, so now we're gonna go uh, shoot at them once more. So I guess instead of you guys over there, we are gonna actually do this instead to Schlieff. Servio Schlieff. Straight to the sea, to Ghent. Air stuff, yes, please. Yes, priority, very, 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 very good. War bonds, because we can. Do we need any more? Yes, we do. No, just don't even answer. Just yes, we do. <clears throat> uh, get down there, get down there if you need it, because we'll probably honestly need that too. Uh, we'll build a lot of roads, of course. More military factories, definitely. And more fuel. Ecuador. So be it, whatever. Where the heck is our task forces? Where the heck is this one? A lot of pre-dreadnoughts and whatnot, but still. Got a lot of enemy ships to kill. We might want to go to Denmark as well. We'll see. <clears throat> How are we doing down here? The Italians are moving in. Not bad. Um, land doctrine. More land out of tax seems very bueno as well. Are we mobilizing more? No. Darn it. Two subs went down. Puppet states as well. Schlieff and once more. Beta. Uh, ah. They're just trying to be busy destroy all enemy ships. Subs. Subs. Good. I think everything they got. Convoys. Ooh. Take a look see at this one. Sink every task force you can find. Nice. Seven, seven light cruisers and five destroyers. That's so good. You know, they're probably... Old. Oh, hello. Old and outdated. Ooh, that is not ideal. The Iraq has declared war on them, too. Not bad. That's very worrisome. Especially if they're trapped here. If they're trapped. Hello. Iraq? Sure, Iraq. Why not? Also, the Republic of Turkey. Can we get them inside of this? No. Revoke guarantee. Towns are doing not bad. Really not doing bad at all. But come over and get that, too. Yes, we should leave in once, but what about a second leave in? Uh, in the meantime, we will need more planes as well. We need more military factories too, so let's really bunch up. And we're already really bunching up quite a bit too. Ah, look at this. There's a task force over here. Just in case. Let's deploy 100 more planes at the very least. Right here. Brazil. Is anyone repairing yet? No? Any other ships? Um, it is 1941, so we can get better heavy uh, hulls as well. Two, that one, that one, level two. Uh, super heavy armor. Battleship armor two. What do we want with this one? So it's down, but it gives a crap ton of uh, armor, like roughly double. That's not bad. I'll go with that one for now. Super heavy batteries. Um. Secondary batteries, anti-air, anti-air cannons. So let's look down just a little bit. Aircraft stuff, and go to another aircraft. Doesn't slow. That for you. Oops, that is. You know what? Instead, just get another aircraft. I don't want to slow down too much. Nice. Get your poles, and which means you're done. You're done. Means you're done. You're done. We're gonna get some planes up there too, that'd be great. Alright, just wait for the Schlieffen. <clears throat> Bypass is imagined on the south. United Canton, so Swiss people. Interesting. Well, war treaty claims and friendship, of course. Ah. Ship recovery rate. Subs. And let's get to Uh oh. Oh boy, we lost two destroyers. We sunk a battleship, a heavy two heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, and 20 destroyers. Very nice job, guys. Beautiful, so no. 
Why don't do this? Everyone repair. He is now level four. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Just go and repair. Completely all you repair. I don't want any issues. 15 out of 15. Wow. All even up to 30. 40. 45 ships need repairs. Holy crap. You know, I'm glad we won. And I'd rather take that long to repair everything. But Jesus Christ, that's insane. That's amazing. I get some better subs too. So let's really finish, shall we? Mm, develop stuff. Nice. Like this. You guys can have this as well. Allies. Should be one solid front line. And go ahead and try to go in two. You're going to struggle here, which makes sense, so I'm not really worried about that at all. I just want to push through here as much as possible, as fast as possible. Go in. Uh, go in here too. How many level? I don't have any forts there. Well, it seems like a lot of arty. So be it. If you take less than 200,000 casualties to take out France, I'll be okay with that. Luxembourg is gone. It's good, good, good. Can we just counter their planes at the very least? Yeah, it's, taking, it's very slow going through here. Not good. Are we actually winning in Strasbourg? Oh. Don's doing quite well, though. It's nice. Break over that river. And we did. Nice. French Indochina is gone. Not bad. Uh, whoa, what's going on here? What is this? Alright, not bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn decent, I'd say. Let's get over there. Let's get over to here. There. Oh, motion. Motion? Pushing down this direction, too. Nice. Of course, we have a lot of light tanks. Not a lot of medium tanks yet, I think. If I can remember correctly. That goes Belgium. Belgium boys are gone. Go, 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 go. Losses. 69,000. Not great, but you know, it's not bad. North is completely open. Paris will be ours. Take all the coast if you can. We're going beach hunting, coast hunting. Up and down the coast, please. And boom. What? We saved you, and then you joined the Allies. That is how you repay us. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, man. Wow, we actually broke through the Magina. What the heck, guys? That's kind of nuts, not going to lie. Paris has fallen. Another victory for the Vatelan? Or for Deutsches Kaiserreich, you mean? Go in, go in, and we have an encirclement. At least another one. Sure, guys. Whatever. Subs, three subs. How we doing over here? Still building ourselves up. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Two left. Nice. Five. Oh, only a few days left. That's awesome. Yeah. Where happened to their main army? Less than hundred thousand. Still got all of France. Oh, I gotta get the United States too. God dang it. Oh, I hate invading the U.S. of A. Right, we're done with motorized for now. Strasbourg. Nice. And fit of Yugoslavia. The Yugoslav seals was an artificial construct, and such authority has been started to collapse. You must step in and restore order. The only question we face is what would be the best way to do this? Do it very carefully. France wishes to negotiate the armistice. Following a well prepared and executed attack on France, the most successful penetration of the front lines at the weakest points, the best, most modernized French armies have been sent north and lost in the resulting encirclement. Thus, the French has lost the best heavy industry and weaponry and the best armored fortifications. Soon after, French forces were in general retreat and our bare mock units were pushing deeper and deeper into French territory. The French government was forced to relocate south to avoid capture and declare Paris to be an open city the same day. <clears throat> During that time, Operation Kleinabab began, aiming to surround and capture the rest of the well trained and well equipped units still stationed on the Maginot Line. Even though the battle was difficult and slow progress was made against strong French resistance. Each force was overcome by one by one. 
Most units surrendered soon after the 19th Corps reached the Swiss border. The Maginot defenses were cut off from the rest of France, and their men claimed to have taken up to 500,000 prisoners. Some main fortresses continued the fight despite appeals for surrender. The last uh, capitulated after 13 days of heavy fighting, and only after a request from Joel Gilles, and only, only protest. <clears throat> of the 58 main fortifications of the Maginot Line, 10 were captured by the Wehrmacht in battle. Discouraged by his cabinet's hostile reaction to a British proposal for rank of British Union to avoid defeat and believing that his ministers no longer supported him, Prime Minister France resigned. It was succeeded by Pétain, who delivered a radio address to the French people announcing his intention to ask for an armistice with Germany. The negotiations are ready to commence, and we are only waiting for the big uh, uh, Wilhelm's approval. And uh, the Kaiser will have a number of good reasons for agreeing to an armistice. An armistice would ensure that France shall not continue to fight for French North Africa, and the French Navy is taken out of the war. In addition, leaving the French government in place will relieve Germany of its considerable burden of administering French territory, particularly as the Reich has other goals to achieve. Finally, as we still lack a navy sufficient to occupy France's overseas territories, the only practical recourse to deny the British use of them was to maintain a formally independent and neutral French or rump state. Let's see. An armistice? All right, that was my chair. Unconditional surrender of France against forces. Hmm. <clears throat> Add unconditional surrender. Oh. They reject it. We shall, sh we shall shed the blood of their soldiers until they accept. So be it. I mean, that's fine with us. I mean, they're already defeated. And we can't even capitulate them anyway, so. We've got 50,000 more guns. Because we have to take out America anyway, so next up will be uh, America. Or, no, UK. I mean, not bad. Not America. UK. Not bad. Weren't they good? Destroyers. Yeah, we got a lot of sinks. So, in the meantime, even though we lost a lot of political power, whatever. Um, we need way more naval bombers. <clears throat> we need a, way more of those guys. And way more of that. Way more military factories going. Let's get at least two more going at the same time now. Those guys are doing a pretty good job so far. Carrier based naval bombers, naval bombers, naval bombers. Yeah, better naval bombers. It's better, stronger, faster. So it needs some time for all that stuff, anyways. Which is fine, whatever. We'll take out Yugoslavia, but after Yugoslavia, then what? Reinstate imperial possessions? That'd be good to do. A Dutch deal. Let's go in first. <clears throat> With the successful reconquest of historically German areas, we can now begin the process of reinstating them into the Deutsches Kaiserreich as fully fledged provinces. The last disgrace of Versailles is undone at last. <clears throat> Absolutely. Doing allies, no one really gives a crap though. We'll invade them eventually once we take out Denmark as well. So, we're taking some time. Hello. What is this? This seems like it'd be a very bad idea. Hel Hello? Wait, why do we own Haju? I'm not gonna question it. Triple Entente? Russia and Russia have announced renewed military cooperation. Russia and Russia, huh? Well, looks like we're at war with Russia now. It's not like we had nothing else to do. Someone else says, In, in Hoi 4, last seeds of Europe, a TNO, is there a Cornwall? If yes, you can play it. Uh, I'd have to double check. I'm not sure they have a unique focus tree yet, but yeah, we can double check it. Um, yeah, you guys might as well get down here too. <clears throat> I wanted to go to war with these guys. Well, once Yugoslavia's gone, we can take out Russia that way, too. So now we're fighting Russia and Yugoslavia and all them. Not great. They have no anti air, anti tank, which is good. Very good to see, actually. I wanted to take out the UK, not the Russians, god dang it. But it's a good way to get a good source of fuel, too. Look at all that naval fuel we're getting. Holy crap. Oh, look at that. The Norwegian fleet's gone. Yay! Uh, let's see, someone else says, hmm, yes, law of research in Kaiserreich. Someone else says, theater training is the best. Someone else says, I shat myself. Nice. Very good. That is Nistria. 41. Um, more artillery, more damage. So far, not bad up here. Really quite good, I'd say. More naval stuff, that'd be good, yeah. A lot of convoys, I love it. We've lost a lot so far, but whatever. <clears throat> no other upgrades yet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. You guys just go ahead and go on in. 
faster we can take him out, the better. Go to Yugoslavia. And let's go to Slovenian territories and let Italy pop into Yugoslavia. Establish Croatian puppet and give the rest of the Italian allies. Isn't that normal? Like, you establish Croatia as a puppet and everything else gives them? I kind of want to annex Croatian and Slovenian territories and let Italy puppet to Yugoslavia. Let them do that, yeah. Can we do that one? Oh, good God. This is disgusting. Um, well, okay. Balkan Defense League. We really just ripped into them really hard. Well, Manila. Well, I mean, wait. Are you a Italian puppet? Uh, 130 days for all this crap? Are you kidding me? Bro. Bro. <sighs> a bit crazy to do it like this, but whatever. I'm going to actually sit over here just in case. You never know. Uh, hello, who's this? Right, well, I mean... What do you mean Russia's justifying against us? Well, since we're here. St. Petersburg. Oh, hello, that's not good. Oh, we lost four allied, well, not really allied boys, but whatever. Oh, you guys did that. You guys go there. Zietomir. Try that. See if you can sickle them at all. Ah. At least these guys are in circle. That's good. Nice. Right, see more destroyers sunk. Awesome. Yeah, for now it's fine as well. We're doing well here as well. Grab that crap. I keep forgetting to get more. Um, what do we call it? Subs. We need more subby boys. Oh wow. A lot of convoys really for that one. Beautiful. A Dutch deal. I want to do a Dutch deal to formalize a treaty, huh? Well, Dutch deal. Why not? We'll see. So far, not bad. How many divisions have we got? Philippines about to be gone. Belarus not looking good. Triple Entente. We got quite a few guys. <clears throat> I'm well, not why they're all like this. Iraqi fighter competitions. Return of Ferdinand the first. All right, if we know about that, please go right ahead. But that's fine. <clears throat> Iraq of all Iraq of all places. Of all places. Right, so how big is this fleet? I'm scared to divide these guys in half. We do anyway, so we can cover it more anyway. So we should do should do okay when we do that, but still, still. Right, is it still Russia? Russia. More ground support, please. Nice. Question Bosnian sovereignty? You bet we do. Nice. We need more. We just need a lot of things, actually. A lot of tanks and whatnot, too. Get through there, take out Crimea and whatnot, so. And we're almost down there. Come on, come on. <clears throat> Trucking down to Sevastopol. There you go. Because we want to get to Baku quickly, and then I guess that opens up this front as well, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Three more Russian subs lost. Very good. Very, very good. Roughly one a day, huh? Fuel is actually looking okay. The game's a little laggy too, though. I think this game just lags really hard when you get to like 1941. Especially once, well, once we invade Russia, then the game starts lagging very hard. But once we get rid of Russia, it'll uh, not lag as hard, hopefully. So, the fall of Sevastopol, very good, very good, very good. Ignore that stuff for now. Oh, wow, holy crap, before we did that. They lost six subs, yeah, it's not bad overall. Nice, 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 nice. Just good stuff, man. Level five. Waiting for him to get, like, Ironside and stuff. Because that'd be very beneficial for us, too. Hey, we're down here now. Not bad. We have Gomel. Gomel. Nice. More of the fleet's been sunk. It's great. Fall of St. Petersburg. Hey! A significant development, if I do say so myself. And they took the river. Or they have the river as a defensive position. That's actually very strong. I think we need to raise conscription level, probably, though. Probably missing a lot of armored cars, though. Oh, yeah. 4,900. A couple thousand armored cars. Not good. Still, more millies. Just a crap ton more. Um, thank you, Portugal. Reporting from anybody? No, not really. That's okay with us. Overall, not bad. Not sure where all the divisions are at. They've taken quite a few losses already. They're out of infantry commit. Nice. Ground bombing. Nice as well. Very good. Well, wow, just lots, lots of convoys here. Jesus. Some might say there's too many, but of course not. Heavy tank chassis, nice. Forty-one industry. Uh, get get a lot of this stuff too. That's important to get. Entrenchment speed, attack defense core territory. Um, we're gonna do this one. Nice. Hey, Belarus is gone. Good job. Light cruisers, some Russian task forces. Keep doing what you're doing. If you can get all the way down here to get straight to Baku, that'd be phenomenal. Can just cut them off. That'd also be quite phenomenal. I don't want to go to extensive conscription yet because it does hurt us quite a bit. So, and it sounds like we're getting naval invaded too here. So then France? I don't think so. Marseille? I always called Marseille and I was told I was wrong. And it sounds very wrong the way I say it. So I'm probably very wrong. Nice. Very good. Dutch deal. Um, mountain artillery. That'd be good to do as well. Uh, Chinese stuff, but that wouldn't really do very much for us. So call the Kaiser's generals. Support the border states. So we need to do autarky. Germany finds itself in deep trouble that runs out of resources it needs. To try and combat this, our economic ministers agree that striving for autarky is the only current possible option. All right, everybody, so now we are very, very, very close to capitulating Russia, like 99% of the way there. After this, you know, we're at war with America. I don't really feel like taking out America. Where is America? They're over here, so I don't have that many divisions, but I don't want to invade. I really don't, so uh, at the very least, let's go and take out the UK as best we can as we get rid of the Russian or the Russian, the Russia, well, Russia. I didn't realize they were fighting the Japanese, too, so I'll give Japan some stuff. Too. Uh, we're down near Turkey too as well. We've stalled our front on this side because attrition is just so bad and so god awful. 
They were trying to build up a lot of ports, you know, or supply bases and stuff. Um, Iraq could probably keep using that stuff. We want them to be strong for now. I prefer a stronger Iraq compared to a strong Turkey, because the Turks are fighting us right now. Ah. Never mind. They're gone. They're done. Yay! Um, in the meantime, these extra little armies, I do need to send them to different places. So you guys can go ahead and start going back and having a good old time with Von Munstein. Yes, please. Uh, scavenger wouldn't be bad, but we don't really need it. Fortress, that's not bad either. Um, you guys over here, Heinz. You know what? Go with Bloods for now, it's fine. And then you guys finish off everybody down here. Go ahead. You know what? If you want to come down here too, uh, that's okay. We'll probably need you guys down here, anyways. That'll be a two front kind of deal. Cypher's done. Oh, and I did put some bombers down here as well. Nice. Early destroy hole. Nice. Sink whatever they've got. Because I did see that the, the British were invading the Dutch. And they're not in our alliance. Ooh, look at that. Yay, another task force sunk. Good job, guys. Very good. Friedrich de Grossa. Hey, Russia's gone. Nice job, guys. Alright, so with that in mind, look at that. That's kind of beautiful now. As long as India doesn't touch us. We don't like it when Indians touch us. Oh. You guys are over there. Because I want to navally invade Norway. I don't want to take out Nor uh, Denmark as well. We'll see. No, oh, you're all coming back that way. Probably not. Let's go ahead and have you guys hold. You guys are where? You're in the front over here. Come over here and help take these guys out too. That'd be great right now. As we are should be pushing down into this region here in Kurdistan too. Oh. We canceled license production. Okay, whatever. Iran? Alright. Welcome aboard, Iran. I prefer Iranians over Turks currently. Instantly just blow them up. Nice. What is this? Destroy? Oh, American destroyer. Nice. Russian destroyer, French sub, a couple subs of destroyer. It's good stuff. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Overall, not bad. We just need more naval bombers, really. And some we've been trying to produce more. We need 30,000 things of interwar armored cards, which are ridiculous. But it makes a lot of sense why we need them. Still need more military factories, but we are trying to produce more, 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 more. Keep going on in, and actually... Because up there, Kurdistan is gone, which is... Actually, no, India's independent. Oh, they're allied with the Japanese. Oh, that makes it so much easier for us. Japan's done really well for itself in this campaign. Even though we were trying to help China out earlier. Not bad. Oh, we got all of Kurdistan. Now that's pretty nice. Keep going, guys. Keep going. They're fighting themselves over there, which is fine. Whatever. Task force. Anything else around here? Uh, not too much, no. Honduras is gone. Well, we got one group. Oh, it's all ten. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are you sending ten divisions at one time? That's why I split it up in different little sections here. Oh, my goodness. I don't think we'll be able to make it if we do that. Even if you were to force it. Well, it could be wrong. Nice. An American task force is so. Well, we're in. bad. A lot of convoys. Just a lot of convoys around here. Good spread in every direction so no one can take our stuff back. Or take your, their stuff back because it's now ours. Wow. Doing very well down here. I love it. Speed. Speed. 
Belgian operative captured. Very good. We only need to go this way as well. What is this? Convoys. Are we just fighting these guys? Yes, we are. In about a month we'll have them as well. Also, what are we doing right now? Colonialization, which I've read several times before, but one of the resources is Germany. <coughs> Lacks, yet yeah, desperately needs it. oil. The Penzo, Abafa, Lufaf, and Kazalisha Marine all require significant amounts of oil. We must learn to synthesize this black gold. Oh, you betcha. Provide naval tech. Provide know how. Um. Bypass Maginot in the south. The British have their interests in the Low Countries. And so we must seek alternative routes around the Maginot. The south, though, mountain is difficult to traverse, will suffi must suffice. Germany ingenuity will see us through. Yeah. Cool. Because once these guys are gone, we're going to take out Switzerland then. Oh. Okay. Task Force, nice. Colonization, good. Oh, hello. Well, that's not good. Where are you guys at? You're all the way there. Oh, whatever. It makes it a little easier for us to uh, get over here and then get ready to invade the UK. Alright, tanks are nice. 1942, which means more research speed. Yes, please. I'm trying to slowly liberate the French, but it's not going to happen. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Let him keep going on this side too, because I want to race through all of this stuff as fast as possible. And then we'll come down here too. This is nice. Alright, so the infantry doing what? Because I will use the infantry down here eventually. Um, you guys focus on this direction. Anything else here? Land Doctrine? Yes. Cap Group Soft Softsack is good. Softsack is very good. And we're doing a very good job down here. Alright, Italian boys. We're up here. We should do okay. Where the heck is the army? Come on, guys. Move. Oh, hello. There's a fleet. An Irish fleet. Oh, it's a British fleet for the most part. Oh, our allies' ships have been all sunk. Well, that's not good. That's really, that was really bad for our allies. Holy crap. Oh, he's dead. That's not good. We need more manpower, too. Maintenance military police. Tanks need the maintenance. A heavy flame tank company. That's going to slow us way down, so that's why I made it for, like, infantry and stuff, so we're not going to use them yet. We need way more armored cars. Support equipment? That's fine. Medium tanks. Oh, we don't have armor speed. Oh, God dang it. There we go, nice. Yeah, we'll mobilize to a higher mobilization level. So we'll get down here as fast and as far as we can with these tanks. Nice. But, uh, I'll eventually switch them with infantry because it's just it's a pain in the butt to fight down here. Don't get up, but nice. The task force gone, good. Good. Good, good. These guys are doing great too. Send them to the factories. They're doing well against the Dutch. It's not good. But that just means we can kill everyone else down here, too. Investments in Siam. Sure, Siam. Sure, why not? Kyrgyzstan's gone. Good. Oh my gosh. His Hispanic Alliance is now at war with the Japanese one. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Here. You guys are all over here. Just just go in. I don't want to do this, but extensive conscription to do this. Now I get less than one political party, which sucks. But whatever. Nice. Because we do take these guys up too. Oh, uh, well, since you're up here, anyways. I'm down here. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a lot of guys. 
That's why we gotta move through this quickly. Holy crap, we are just blitzing through Africa. That's actually really nice. Maybe I'll keep them there for now. No supplies, huh? What would we like to see? Our stuff over here. Throw in. What have we got? A thousand more planes. Fine with me. Come up here. That'll be good. More ground crews. Good. Description is good. Radar is good. There's a suit down here. I want to take these guys out fast, anyways, but whatever. Are you guys done down here? Oh, yeah, you are. I don't take the Magino, so. Get your butts over there quickly. Nice. Eight subs. Well, six more subs? Yeah, six more subs there, too. Convoys. Beautiful things. Hey, good job, guys, in Norway. Good job. Nice. Very good stuff. And we'll also get another thing of subs. Actually, subs are relatively okay. They're not bad. Nice. You guys did great. You know what? Come down here. Actually, are you done? Yeah, you're all done. You know what? You guys do this. <coughs> when you guys, though, up here, get rid of these guys. Kill them all off. Nice, very nice. Some more air. Literally no supply down here whatsoever. Good God. Nope, oh, peace conference. Oh! The Netherlands was puppeted. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, I guess we're getting the Dutch no matter what. Nice. So, did that put us at war with anyone else? Oh, we want. Oh, hello! Well, that's not good. I forgot about going to war with Denmark, too. Crap. I'm gonna go and do it, anyways. Oh, wait, there. Bulgaria, please. And we'll go to war with these guys too, I guess. But in the end, we end up going to war with everyone else, so. A war against militarism. Then the Bismarck Isles, Japan stole the Bismarck Islands from us, we might take them back no matter the cost. Sure, why not? Oh, did they invade down there too, huh? Some supply right there. Some more planes. There goes the Dutch. Why are you divided like this? Jesus Christ, this is so bad. Kashubia? Goodness gracious. The Hague. Huh. Completely left alone. I'll oh, go here, go to go to there. Yay! Oh god, look at this. Oh wow. Oh, we're seeing everything. Uh, damage done, huh? Beautiful. This is part of the fleet. Is this sabotage? Oh, more fleet. Where do ships go? Nice. Good stuff. I mean, yeah, where do the capital ships go? I didn't tell you to retreat. Oh, 
Well, crap. That was entire. Almost looks like the almost entire fleet. Nice. Polgar, you chose so poorly. That's ridiculous. That was a really bad decision by the Poles. Uh, not Poles, the Bulgarians. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, that's not good. It's Poland. Good job. Now we can come back over here and do this. Overall, not bad. I still got guys over there too, whatever. Um, where are you guys at? He's up there. No, honestly, I'm probably just gonna have you just like garrison in Norway so we don't have to come back and fight it again. Oh, they got it. Oh, my God. Garrison the VPs as well. Where are you guys at? Down here? Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, boy. We're doing very well in Africa. What the heck is going on? Don't get me wrong. I love it when we do well, but still. Come on, get Tripoli. We need that port. The Spanish Empire want to join us. A bunch of fascists. Alberto Mercado. But still. Still. Fifty-five. Ooh, four more ships. Oh, sub hole, huh? Claim the Bismarck Islands for new Middle Africa claims. Our African colonies have been badly taken from us. This treachery must be repaid with rich interests. We're a viable Middle Africa plan. Now, do you have one huge state in Central Africa ruled by German people? Imperial Colonial of the Middle Africa gains corners and claims to the East, Middle, and South regions of Africa. Empire of Africa becomes our puppet. I love it. I love it. Our army situation would be nice, but we don't have enough army XP for that. Um, Ems oil fields, aluminum plant, why not? Yeah. Get rid of Polish names. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, now they're doing great. Oh, do we still have a tank up here? No, it's allies' tanks. Okay, so what else? Really got to know what's going on in the UK here. Wales. Wales is a weird nation. Modern dry docks. It's good. Very good. 1942. Advanced radio. Sure, why not? Not sure if we're really going to use it, but whatever. Nice. Alright, so. It's time for a little... Oh, you're a bunch of commies. Well, this is exactly why we didn't take you out. Triple Entente's a bunch of communist sympathizers. Here's priority. They got 12 planes. We got nothing. Okay, that's not good. Huh. In the meantime, we have a couple planes. Not many, though. Uh, how's Cass looking? Oh, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Um, taking a while to deploy, though. Forty-eight damage, Jesus! More damage, please. Sixty-three damage is not enough. Because then we'll turn this against the UK as well. And another sub, yes, please. I don't believe you that we have excess amount of factories. Why can we not use these? They're all damaged, that's why. Um, fighters are okay. Do we actually need more light tanks? We do need more light tanks. Light tanks and support equipment. A lot of support equipment. Bands, light tank, chassis. I mean, like, it doesn't really matter too much. Eh, yeah, I'm not even going to ma really make them. I don't think Switzerland has that many supplies for, especially aluminum. Eh, they got a little bit of maybe. We already had that tile, though. Yeah, they have a little bit. Yeah, they do have a little bit. Tiny amount. Got all those guys. Good job, guys. Now I want you guys all up here. But not really. Next, we're going to invade. 
I always invade around this area, around Dover now. We can, we're usually pretty good about taking them out this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say nine. Might be. There we go. Benelux, I mean, do they do they really want to do that? You got rid of our navy. Okay, well, okay then. I mean, that makes it really easy to just sink convoys this way too. So, sure, guys. Drastically reduce how many planes they have in the air. Nice. And kill off all the divisions as well. Does it really matter to us? Why would you liberate these guys and not guarantee them? I will sometimes never understand the AI, you know. You guys are still trying to get over there? Holy crap, dude. <coughs> Kaiser Lush Protector from Middle Africa's capitulated? Eh, I don't know about that. We'll see. All right, we're against militarism. Might as well. How many more have to die? Dominion of Mexico. That does not look like the Dominion of Mexico. It looks like the flag of Canada or something. But I think I'm wrong about that. Um, as much as I don't want to make, I don't know these guys in the water. Nice job, guys. And I'll go to the Hague. Oh boy. Oh. Wait, what? What's going on? Why do we have so many convoys in the water? Are these our convoys? They're not our convoys. Well, we're not importing anything. I guess it is too. Two thousand planes. Five subs, more subs, not enough. Uh, how's cryptology going? Still doing it, not bad. And better on that. Uh, let's come down here and grab that one, but we want more you know, stuff too. Nice. Oh, disappears, not bad. Nice. Alright. Columbia's gone, whatever. <clears throat> one one faction now. Or one fleet. Why don't you all repair? Uh, I'll go right there actually. Yeah, I don't know why we have so many convoys coming through here. For now, go ahead and do this. More American subs, not bad. Uh, you guys, a lot, couple manpower. Ooh, lacking, not bad. 141 divisions, or ships, I should say. Only four carriers, huh? Go and repair these guys first, because we'll need to make sure that they're okay. Agent captured, that's not good. And one more twos, yeah, that's good to get two. Alright, anything else? Nope. Agent captured, we gotta rescue the person, but we'll get there eventually. And get some more. Any bomber competition? Sure, why not? It's 42, get better cannons. Better radar, nice. Stuff. Floating harbor. Nice. Peter Reveal chance. Good. Passive defense. Greater Portugal refuses the British naval blockade. Portuguese government is clear that they're not able to uh, 
are not bonded to be able to the naval blo by the naval blockade imposed to us by the UK. God dang it. <coughs> we received a missive offering a fair agreement whereby a Portuguese convoy will support a war effort, carrying goods where our own convoys cannot reach in exchange for a trade agreement with to send cheaper goods, consumer goods, of course, to Greater Portugal. Consider the deal. Nice. I love the Portuguese. Get rid of those Polish names, though. Still going down? Barely. Still going down just a little bit, too. Sure, why not? Improved industrial situation. Oh, look at that. More weekly stability. Sure, why not? Oh, wow, we're still fighting. I forgot we're still fighting. Dang it. Um, that's the case. Get some more. Get another port through here. Because they're not connected at all. That'd be good. Get some planes here, too. How are we doing down here? Well, it's definitely not going as fast as we would have liked. But that's okay for now. We have two armies. You guys concentrate on the south. Take out South Africa if you can. We're against militarism. We're not actually going to go to war with them, though. Um, I want to look into the different stuff that was unique. Imperial colony von Middle Africa. If we are allies control regions claimed by them, we hand that region to them. Follow a lot of war effect. Nice. Uh, Kickstart know-how. To maximize efficiency of Brazilian industry, we'll provide them our industrial know-how. Help modernize their old ma machinery production. Nice. Keep taking everything that, that they got. Are we taking attrition? Oh, because of the state. Oh, it's because we probably don't have enough uh, things here. Uh, sure, guys. Alright, we gotta max this out now. How many guns we got? Put out a one. Well, that's not good. You know, I'll take one of these guys off as well. I'll put on resistance. Wow, that's really bad. Trying to gear some off rush is impossible. Oh. 52, 403, 52, 404. That's not good. We'll deal with it, though. Alright. Ships. Actually, right there. Can Argentina join them? All right. Uh, veil mining industry. The next step in developing the Brazilian industry is to reveal and utilize the mineral wealth. Expanding Vale's Amazonian and Sao Paulo iron mines will sure help with that. We need way more military factories. Hey, happy cruiser, nice. Fifteen American subs, very good. You guys cannot give up. You're f fifteen divisions. Holy crap! That's a crap ton of divisions. We got a port too. See you guys immediately over the water. See you guys as well. Nice. Because they have nowhere to retreat, and as soon as they are out of organization, they will die. Exile divisions? Well, you exiled, but you're going to die anyways here. I love it. Breakthroughs, more soft stack. Yes. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Uh, I'll give you infiltration assault, anyways, for now. Go ahead. Oh, a battleship. Nice. That's our convoy waiting here through here, too. Oh, they're trying to bomb the crap out of us. But eventually, once we push and the air bases, take enough air bases, we'll be fine. London's gonna fall. Not even garrisoned by the own Londoners, but whatever. La Fall London. Beautiful. Oh look at that. Oh good god. A ton of battleships were hurt. It's alright though. It's all good. <coughs> Caught it, huh? Group tank radio. More reinforcement. Re coordination. Beautiful. How you doing down here? 
We concentrated enough down here yet? Nope. Some areas we can do well in, some areas not so much. We could try to force it, but that probably would be a good idea to do that. Ah, yes. Nice. Keep preparing. How many are about now? 55,000 probably? Yeah, 54,000. Not good. Censorship. I love censorship. Daily compliance gain. Oh, that'd be good to do too. Guess I'll go here. Don't leave them alive in Wales. Oh boy. Hey, that's not good. Early cruiser hold. Nice. Hey, the UK's gone. Absolutely beautiful. Right down here, too. Leopoldville. Nice. Vale Mining Industry. Co found the Petrobras Oil Company. Brazil is believed to be having quite a uh, formidable amount of oil, all of which can be extracted by German, Germano Brazilian Oil Company, the Petrobras. What are we doing so down here? We're struggling against the Americans, that's what's up. Build a port, god dang it. Build two ports. Who cares? Build more ports. We need them. So you guys have done great. I'm gonna take you guys, or maybe you guys. Come here, Belfast. Also from Belfast, right there. There too. Delvin just says, "Uh." Get a thing and take them out. That's a complete machine. A radar. Be nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Expanding operations. Oh, good God. That's a big fleet. Um, any, take you guys, and we're almost done with the campaign. I just want to see how much we can do in uh, Africa. Let's see, animal bombers. We might need to use those. Naval bombers, not many of them. Let's see what we can do. Is exactly where we want right here, though. Actually, we have a couple of these guys too. Start bombing them there. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it'll do some damage. Isle of Man. Nice. Convoys. Sink them, shrink them. All the good stuff. Anybody have superiority, which makes sense. Good, good, good. Oh, our allies lost a couple task forces, which suck. Um, Heart attack. What's here? Hey, it's almost 1942. 43. How are we doing in Africa still? South Africa, well, we're doing okay ish. Definitely better than earlier. Yeah, I don't think we'll actually be able to see the Middle African stuff, which does suck quite a bit, actually. Check your ports, which is great. Oh, do we not go in ever? 
Go ahead. Oh, whoa. Nice. We lost an early destroyer. Two battleships, a battle cruiser, a heavy cruiser, ten light cruisers, and a shark. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Battleship, nice. Another battleship, nice. Ukraine is gone. Oh, but anything else here? Fighters. We're okay on fighters for now here. You guys can do some of the bombing as well. <coughs> Should be able to go really whenever. Oh, see? They got the fleets in there. And we're going to get rid of them. So... Actually, for our admirals. Oh, we got two more ships. Nice. Oh, another. Oh, look, Von Hutten. Gunther has been great here. Ground Pounder, Shore Bombardment. Lone Wolf. Destroyer Leader. Well, we have some destroyers. But honestly, that stuff is okay. I'll go with Ground Pounder. I never do Ground Pounder, so let's use it for once. Do even more damage. Actually, you're all helping put down resistance, which is great. How many are we on now? 57,000. God dang it. How's production going? Cannons, better cannons. So any more millies, but you know what? I think that's pretty much all we can really do. I mean, yeah, we can invade Ireland. That'd be fun and all, but at the same time, we can't really see Africa too much because America's in the war too, and we could take them out, but that would take so long. I'm just not really interested in doing that. So, yeah. I think that might be just where we left. we're going to leave it. Because we can do really well here, and we will if we get going. But this video's gone on long enough. And uh, we've already done pretty much all the major things we can do. So, apologize for not invading the <coughs> excuse me, Emerald Isle. Or finishing them off. Or showing you the Empire of Africa. But it is what it is. It's just, you know, led by uh, Paul von the Vorbeck. But if you enjoyed the campaign, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. In another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great Deutsches Kaiserreich rest of your day.